Welcome back, friends. It's the Half-Ass Crafter. I'm Laura, the Half-Ass Crafter. We're going to do How Do You Do? So I'm going to put a link somewhere, probably in the description, to the unboxing of all of these wonderful goodies from Cheryl over at The Whole Bucket. So we, Cheryl has this challenge called How Do You Do? And what happens is she gets this group of creators and she sends us all mystery packages, but they're all very similar, if not the same. And we just create things and then we release all the videos at the same time. So none of us know what the other set of folks are doing. Uh, and it's, it's just a challenge for some paper craft creators. There's, you know, junk journalers, there's mixed media people, there's all sorts of stuff. So... Uh, I did it, I believe, earlier this year, uh, but there's more information in the unboxing video, and you can go to, Cher to Cheryl's channel, and she's got information over there. So I'm going to make my How Do You Do challenge project, and there's really not many rules with it. Uh, Cheryl's like, you can use all of the stuff I sent you, you can use some of the stuff I sent you, and your own stuff, whatever. Like, she doesn't there's nothing to it. She just wants to see what people will create. It's, it's really a really fun little challenge. So I thought I got, I did my unboxing. Uh, and if you watched that video, you saw that we got, um, this little bag of goodies. So there's paper and fabrics and little bits here and there and all sorts of stuff. And then I saved the wrapper that it came in. Everybody will be really proud of me. So I started thinking about what can I do with this? And then I remembered that I have this 49 and Market Create an Album Kit. Uh, someone gifted this to me and they were like, oh, you know what? You do junk journals and make books and stuff like that. And I was like, well, sometimes I do. And so they were like, you can use this. So here I am. And it comes with these, these are the covers. Um, I use one of my Hobby Lobby clearance rhinestones and then uh, some gold leaf in there and uh, made this neat little trim on here. But I thought this is a great use for this Create an Album. I can create a little junk journal using all of these things and this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cover and all of this stuff and we're going to make a little, I think it's just going to be two. I think it'll just be a little two prong deal. Um, I don't really know how these go. Well, they open. Do you have to do them both? Oh, you do. Okay. You have to undo both of them to open them. All right. So I think maybe I want to open it that way. Maybe that's just because I'm right-handed. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to uh, stick this down because step one, stick things down, right? I can't even stick sticker paper down correctly. Jeez. This really is the half-ass crafter. At least I picked the right name. Sure did get the name of the channel right, didn't you? Yep. All right. We're gonna take that off. We want that to swing out that way, whoa. And then we want it to be pretty centered, right about there. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. Hopefully I fast forwarded through all of that with you and you did not have to see me doing all of that ridiculous work. Okay, so now I've got my little binder mechanism in here. Oh, I see, if you pinch it, you can pull it. Ah, cool. Um, they, I think they still sell these. I'm not 100% certain, uh, but I do have the little hole punch for it. So supposedly that is, and it is, it lines up. So this is gonna be a very easy little junk journal. Um, my plan is, let me set this off to the side. My plan is to just punch holes in a lot of these papers and put them in here. And then we're gonna decorate the outside. Um, oh my gosh, I could even use this, couldn't I? How could I use it? Could I do it that way? I think I could, let's do it that way. Will it work that way? I don't know. Oh my 
by golly, it does. Look at that. That's cute. Okay, well, maybe that has to go in the very front. All right, uh, let's see. Ooh, got some napkins. Who doesn't love a good napkin? I do have this shark envelope. And I could just cut the envelope or I could do it this way. Hmm. All right, let's set the envelope off to the side and let's worry about the papers first. So I can make this, since it's long, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think since it's long, I want to make it long. All right, like that. Sure. Somebody's gonna tell me I did this wrong because now that I'm saying seeing all of this, I'm like, oh, hang on. I think it's supposed to all sit over here like that and stack up. Okay, so I want this one to be the first page. All right, there's some more. Ooh, these would make nice tags for those. So I think we're gonna use these for tags. That might go on the front, or maybe these will go on the front, I'm not sure. Um, these are all going to be ephemera. I can just use this wholesale like this. And that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I wanted to put it, this doesn't, oh my gosh, it does come out. I don't know why y'all still watch my channel. Y'all really, y'all are some nice people. That's all I gotta say. <sighs> all right, I have, I actually, this is paper I sent, so I could go get more of it. It's right behind me and maybe I will. I may go get more of it and swap it out so that I do it correctly because, <sighs> you know, sometimes, Sometimes even I am a little baffled with myself. So, you know, it's not, it's not just you. Don't worry, don't worry. All right. How do we wanna run this? Well, I could cut it there. Ooh, yeah, let's cut it there. Hang on. All right, I'm gonna cut it at this fold. And then, so I just wanna cut it on the fold, like so. Okay, and then I'm just going to punch holes in it. I know, now that I know I can do that. I'm gonna punch holes in it there, and we're gonna put it right there. Oh, womp womp. Okay, that's all right. We can cut that off. No big deal. This is me doing a journal by the seat of my pants. And if you're new here, you're probably like, this lady is out of control. Um, maybe. I'm going to save those because those are really neat pieces of paper. Uh, I might be out of control. That may be true. You may not be wrong. Okay, and then these, I think I can get, yes. If I put these in half. And you know what I'm doing, y'all? I watched Darcy make a journal on her channel. She just did it like last week, I think it was. And I watched how she did it. And she was like, all right, I'm just gonna fold this paper in half here and fold it here and fold it here and fold it here. And now I have a template. And I was like, oh, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. And she just did everything so that it was easy for herself. And I was, I don't know, man. I was really jealous. I was really jealous of how she was so confident in doing that. And if y'all don't watch Darcy over at Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media, you should. You should definitely watch Darcy. If you like me at all, you're gonna adore Darcy because Darcy is way better than me. Uh, well, all right. She wouldn't agree. She would be like, stop saying that. So I feel like that I must 
clarify and say Darcy is a little bit different than me, uh, but she definitely has this like wonderful um, confidence that I just really, really, really adore. So I love watching her. Oh my gosh, I didn't know this was different colors. <sighs> Holy pancakes. All right, hang on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I use, I can use the whole thing. Great. Then that's what we're going to do. We're just going in. We're just doing it. What are you going to do with the shiny stuff? I don't know, man. Maybe they're dividers. I know y'all are like, you're not even poking those holes evenly. That's probably also very true, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to intersperse them. So this okay uh and i might use these in a little bit later but just just hang tight we're making the uh we're making the little journal here so do i want a little bag i think maybe i do i know y'all are like laura you're just poking holes in things not wrong that is not an incorrect statement there we go okay and then this I didn't use because, well, this is very small and these are very thin, but I could poke holes in them. Um, I think maybe I'll hang on to those. I think maybe what I'll actually do is, I wonder if I can put this fabric on that. Because I know people make fabric paper like that. I think Darcy's even done that, hasn't she? Okay, we may do that as well. All right, so here's what I currently have. Ooh, look, I can do this too. Yeah, that's getting that's getting holes punched in it too. I'm a hole punching fool. I'm a fool for the hole punch. I'm a fool for the hole punch. Yep, that's going in there too. All right, what else do we have? While I'm punching holes, y'all, then do we want this? to go here. Why not? You know? Why not is going to be my answer to most things, I think, for this project. All right. So, uh, I will, there's a good chance that I edited a lot of what I just did because this was pretty boring. It literally was me poking holes. Um, and the more I think about it, the more I'm like, oh, that's kind of boring. But, all right, let's see. Hang on. Ugh. All right, that's what I was afraid of. Some of these things need to be trimmed. I wasn't thinking all the way. But now I have a little junk journal. And do you see how fast that happened? So now the cool thing is if I want to do something with these pages, I just have to pull them out. So uh, one of the interesting things when I started junk journaling was people were using you know, these, all of these little pieces of ephemera from board games. And I thought, well, that's cool. But then I was like, well, what are you going to like, what do you really do with them? So, uh, so somebody sent me some in happy mail and this is one of them. Cause I sent everybody one, uh, for how do you do? And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to cover it. I'm going to gesso it. And then I'm going to cover it with a paper, with a napkin. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Yes. And maybe we'll even cover these with napkins and see how that turns out. Okay, let me clean this mess up and then I'm going to come back and we're going to start working on a couple of pages. Maybe we'll do like, maybe we'll do three. We'll see how far we can get. And then maybe I'll do another video where I decorate some more pages. Change of plans. All right. So, I started thinking and I thought, you know, actually I want this first video to be 
the making of the journal. So I showed you how easy it is to make a little two ring binder journal using the 49 and Market Build an Album. I think it's called Build It an Album, is that right? Create an Album. So it's by 49 and Market. So if you wanna go find it, create an album. So the what I'm actually gonna do is I actually wanna work on covering this first. And maybe I should have done that before I put anything inside, but I'm not sure that I actually wanna cover, I don't think that I wanna wrap this around. I mean, I could, it would fit perfectly. Um, but I do have to worry about this part here. So, oh my gosh, is that not bling-tastic? That's so funny. All right, let's take all of this out for now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I want to decorate my journal. And I think what I want to do... And here's where it gets dangerous because I am a sewer. I, uh, I do quilts, I sew things, I make bags. Uh, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, I need to go get my sewing table all together. I'm going to need my rotary cutter. I'm going to need my iron. And I'm trying not to do that. I'm like, no, no. What would Darcy do? And I think what Darcy would probably do is just tear it, wouldn't she? She would. She would just tear it. So maybe... Maybe I just tear it. Maybe I take my little scissors, where are they at? And I just do a little snip dippy do and I tear it. Oh my gosh, okay. We did it y'all, we, we, just, we just tore it and uh, tear this end. Okay. I know, I know, y'all are like, you better save that piece. You better save that piece of fabric, lady. I know, don't worry, I'm saving it. That doesn't wanna tear either because there's not big enough strips. I'm a half-assed sewer too, y'all. So if y'all are out there and you're quilters and sewers and you're like, doesn't she know that that's not gonna work because blah, blah, blah. The answer is no, absolutely not. I do not know that that won't work because of blah, blah, blah. I am over here doing my best. And sometimes it gets me into a lot of trouble. Okay, so let's see. I do kind of want to put this on here. I really kind of want that off. And then I want to pull some of those out because I do want it to be all fringy. I think I'm going to make it kind of scrappy. Maybe I collage with the fabric. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes. I also have this, which um, my thought was I was gonna cut, I was gonna cut this out and put it on the spine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I am here and I have that idea and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have that piece and then I have this piece and then what else do I have in here? You know, I have, I have this little piece of quilt. Hmm. I have this little piece of lace. Do I have any? All right, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just not a chunky monkey journal kind of gal. And I am And then I'm going to put this on here. And then do I also want to put this on here? That's kind of a lot. I don't think I do actually want to do that. All right. Well, I definitely want to put this on here. And I remember watching someone, who was it? Oh, if I can think of the name of the channel, I will link it below. But she covered a journal with fabric. And she said, if you've never covered a journal with fabric using Mod Podge. She loved the way the Mod Podge felt um, after it had dried on fabric. So 
I'm wondering, what if I do that? I'll use Mod Podge because I can use Mod Podge. And what if I did strips? I really like that yellow. So I'm gonna use my Mod Podge for this. And this is matte Mod Podge. Uh, and I put it in a little ketchup, squeegee, squeegee, squeeze, whatever, container. Um, as you can see, it's giving birth. All right, well, here we are. And here we are. Move that out of the way. Do a little bit of this. Put this on here. Now, I watched this video from this other channel like over a year ago. So, uh, there's a good chance that what I'm showing you is completely wrong, but we're all about to find out together. It's gonna be so fun. I just, I just love it when you and I experiment together. It's the best ever. Trying new things with my friends. Just trying new things with my friends. We're just trying new things cause we're friends and we can experiment together. Any more here? Blop. All right. Kind of need to move it around a little. Need to pull it down. There we go. There we go. I don't know, y'all. I'm just making, making a journal. I'm just a journal making fool at this point. I know. I haven't made any journals in quite a while, and now here I am. So I'm going to just keep doing this, and then I'll fast forward, and we'll just get to the future. Great. It's dried. We did it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So first off, you should know that I dried it like that, where it was kind of up a little. I put it on top of a book. And so it dried sort of like that so that it was easier to bend. Um, I used a, uh, the scientific term is a metric bum ton of Mod Podge. Fabric Mod Podge is very interesting. I agree uh, about the way it feels. It, this went down fine. I did have to, I did cut off the ends and then I realized, oh, I should have cut, you know, these. So it was just three, but that, whatever, it's no big deal. So that part is done. I may do something on the back because, well, this piece came up here. So it, I don't know. I may cover this whole thing with some fabric. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it, but the cover is done. I realized what I think I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do a small series of videos. So this is the first one where we made the journal, made the journal cover. And then the next video, I'm going to make some ephemera to put in the journal. And then I'm, there might be a third video where we do a little bit more. I'm going to do a few different techniques of things because I've been watching videos, but this took way longer than I thought it was going to take and life things are going on. So I don't have a ton of time to be in my art room right this second. I know, I know. I have no idea how I have no job, but I am this busy. It is weird and wild and wacky and I don't even know how I had a job. But anyway, so I'm going to come back. There's going to be another installment of how do you do and we're going to do whatever we do with the how do you do. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment and all that fun stuff. Bye.